सब्सक्राइब द आयल्स गाइड चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर द रेगुलर अपडेट्स ऑफ आयल्स वीडियो वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल गाइस वेलकम टू आयल्स गाइड चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आयल्स स्पीकिंग एंड वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द मेन टॉपिक ऑफ आयल्स स्पीकिंग दैट इज फूड एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सैंपल क्वेश्चंस फॉर पार्ट 1 पार्ट 2 एंड पार्ट 3 ऑफ द आयल्स स्पीकिंग एग्जामिनेशन इन द प्रीवियस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट education and today we are going to start the new series of IELTS speaking in this series also we are going to cover three videos regarding the another main topic of the IELTS speaking that is food so in this video we are going to focus on mainly part 1 and part 3 questions for the IELTS speaking in case of a food topic only and in the next video i am going to give you cue card related to food topic for the ielts speaking part 2 and in the third video of this series particularly for the food topic we are going to talk about all the vocabulary related to the food as well as collocations related to the foods friends so without any further ado let's start today's video in this video we are going to start with the part 1 of the ielts speaking related to the food questions so let's see part 1 and this is the first question let's read the question together which meal is important lunch or dinner and why so you can also say lunch or dinner whatever you think right but i am going to give my personal opinion so in my opinion according to my opinion dinner is more important because we have dinner with our family members at dinner we are more relaxed right because we don't have any work right work pending and we are free because uh, we have completed our day right and we can also spend time with the family members so i think that in my case dinner is more important for me you can also give your answer by saying that lunch is important for you but you should have to explain why it is important for you right so this is how you have to answer the question try to understand the question and then choose your answer right so that you can explain it also because sometime what happens they just ask examiner just ask which meal is important lunch or dinner and they don't ask why at the time but when you say for me lunch is important then suddenly they will ask why so you should prepare for that okay so you should uh, only give answer when you can explain that answer also right so keep in mind these things friends now let's move to the question number 2 do you like cooking so yes i like cooking because i always cook for my dear ones right so this is how you have to give the answer right you can also say no but you have to little bit extend your answer okay because in this case also examiner might ask why right why you don't like so that you can then you have to say that because i found it really really difficult right and time consuming and or you can also say i don't have skill of cooking right so you should be very clear for your answer right now let's move to the question number 3 who does the cooking in your family well in my family my mom does sometimes my father also cooks for dinner on weekends i sometimes cook too right so you have to give the answer from your family background right you can also you you can also imagine right or you can give a truth answer uh, about your family right whatever is easy for you you can answer in that way okay let's move to the question number 4 do you like to eat food with your family or do you like to eat alone right in this case also you have to give answer by keep in mind that what is the reason for that you like particular thing right because in this case also they might ask why right so here in case of my myself i like to eat food with my family because it gives me satisfaction right because because it gives me satisfaction means i am extending my answer right i am not giving a chance to ask examiner why right i am extending answer myself right i am going to give the reason why i like to eat food with my family because it gives me satisfaction and 
I can also discuss my routine with them and we have a great time to talk while eating right so this is the best way to answer your question you can also say I like to eat alone but you have to be very specific okay friends it is not like that that you will say if uh, I would like to eat alone I like to eat alone then they will uh, give you a low score no that is not true but if you answer that you have to be specific you should have a particular reason why you like to eat alone right so try to choose your answer by uh, take caring of this kind of things okay now let's move to the question number five what is your main meal in the day well i can say lunch is my main meal because i have light breakfast and dinner right you can also say that in case of a lunch i have full dish and i have varieties of uh, foods right and i take a heavy food or i i eat much food in the lunch because yeah because after lunch i i am still working so i have it is easy for me to digest the food right and at the night i just take a light food in the in the dinner because after dinner i am directly go to my bed right you can answer in such a way that now let's move to the question number six what type of food do you eat every day and why right remember here also they will not ask why directly but they will ask after you answer the question right so you should prepare for that yourself right for for me i am a gujarati so i eat gujarati food right it is easy easy to digest and it is balanced diet it provides carbohydrate fats proteins minerals vitamins fibers right and require in required quantities right in adequate quantities right so also you should keep in mind this kind of uh, words carbohydrate fats proteins minerals vitamins right uh, it, it might be helpful for you in lot of questions right so keep in mind this uh, vitamins and required quantities okay now let's move to the question number seven on what occasions do you eat special foods right so i eat special foods on special occasions like birthday parties weddings new year and many more okay there are so many festivals there are so many occasions just give some names and then you can say and many more right okay let's move to the question number eight what type of food do you like well personally i like gujarati south indian punjabi and marathi food sometimes i also eat fast food right however i prefer to eat healthy food with salad because in case of a gujarati dish it is a healthy food and we always have a salad so i i would like to say that i prefer to eat healthy food with salad okay question number nine what is healthy food now what is healthy food healthy food is one which provides adequate quantities of carbohydrate fats minerals proteins vitamins and fiber also it is good for our digestive system and it keeps us healthy right so you should keep in mind this kind of words or phrases right you can use it uh, many time in your answer because it is a good vocabulary words for your food right for your food dictionary these kinds of words are must so let's move to the question number 10 which foods from your country do most foreign people enjoy i think foreign peoples are always eager to try local and spicy indian foods tourists and foreigners eat our local and traditional foods in my country right because india is famous for spices right so they would like to eat the spicy food right and local foods because there are a lot of varieties of uh, local foods are available in different different regions in india right so i developed answer by keep in mind all these things question number 11 which foods from your country do most foreign people enjoy okay this is the same question so now let's move to the question number 12 do you prefer to eat cooked food at your home or eat at a restaurant well i like to eat homemade food but sometimes for change i eat at a restaurant right so it's a simple answer i like to eat homemade food but sometimes for a change i eat at a restaurant right because it is a really general thing it is a so simple answer because it is a part one so you don't have to extend so much right just two three words are enough in case of a part one answer right let's move to the question number 13 
do you like vegetarian food or non vegetarian food i like vegetarian food right i am a vegetarian i like vegetarian food i prefer to eat it with salad because it is very healthy food right so you can also say i like non vegetarian food but you should know why you like non vegetarian food right you can say we can have a lot of a good fat and protein from the non vegetarian food right which are lake in the plants and vegetables right you can also develop your answer in that way question number 14 what food items do you like to cook i like to cook punjabi food gujarati food south indian food continental food and fast food right whatever you like just say okay or you can also say that i don't like to cook a food right and whatever reason you can extend a little bit right question number 15 what are advantages and disadvantages of vegetarian food this kind of questions might be asked in part 3 also so just for a, for sake of knowledge just i added this kind of questions over here so that you can also have some words related to food and you can also have some ideas regarding such topics right so what are advantages and disadvantages of vegetarian food so let's talk about the advantages first advantages is one that it is easy to digest and contains adequate minerals vitamins proteins and fibers it is good for health and it is economical right we all know that regarding the vegetarian foods right now let's talk about the disadvantages disadvantages is one of the main reason that fat is not sufficient for us and it looks more time it it took more time to prepare right also in case of veggies we need to prepare balanced diet by combination of different veggies right we we have to add some different different vegetables right we have to take bread and then also take some vegetables so that we we should have all the vitamins and proteins required right you cannot only eat one plant or one vegetable one fr- one fruit to get all the required uh, adequate um, minerals or vitamins or proteins right you should have to make a combination of different veggies right uh, so this is a disadvantages we can say right now question number 16 discuss advantages and disadvantages of fast food advantages it is available in different varieties and it is very tasty right we all know that it is available in different varieties very tasty it is easy to cook right it is cheap right it is you know, anyone can prepare it right like so many fast food packages are available you just have to add a, a warm water right or boil water to uh, eat it right it is so simple anyone can do this so i just try to add all these things in the advantages portion now let's talk about the disadvantages nutrition values is less in fast food right we all know that no vitamins or minerals and uh, that are really less in the fast food right it is oily and spicy and not healthy for our body we all know that this raw spicy salty and so much sweet right uh, it contains lot of sugar and it contains lot of oil right to make it tasty sometimes it is difficult to digest and because of all these things it is difficult to digest sometime right now question number 17 what are the advantages and disadvantages of eating at home wow this is a good question right advantages it contains adequate minerals carbohydrates vitamins fibers and proteins it is easy to digest and it is cooked by our dear ones it is fresh and healthy right so all the things i try to include in the advantages right because it is cooked by our dear ones so we love that food it is easy to digest right we use some good things good ingredients to make the a uh, food at home right and it is fresh and healthy at all because it is not processed food or uh, packaged food right it is really healthy for us so we all should uh, also try to make a food at home only right disadvantages it takes time to prepare food we cannot enjoy many tasty dishes at a time right 
okay this is a general thing right it take a time right it took a much time to prepare a good food at home right we all know that and we cannot have a lot of tasty foods in one dish right we are not going to make so many vegetables or so many veggies or different different kind of tasty dishes at a time right so we can say it is a disadvantage right because we don't have any other thing to include in the disadvantages portion for this question particularly because home home cooked food are really uh, obviously it is really good right for for our health and so many ways it is cheap also right so let's move to the question number 18 what are the advantages and disadvantages of non-vegetarian food now in case of advantages we can con uh, we can use fats and proteins words right because we all know that it have uh, it gives fats and proteins and it makes person strong right we all know that it makes the person strong because it have a lot of fats and proteins that require for our body it gives us a strength to fight against the cold weather right this kind of food are easily available in desert and icy region right because uh, some places we cannot grow the plants and vegetables right so this kind of foods are easily available over there now in case of a disadvantages uh, it is oily spicy and it is really hard to digest right we have to work hard or we have some uh, activity physical activity to digest it right because it is really hard to digest if you just eat the non-vegetarian food and just uh, you don't have much activity then it will it might be difficult for your body to digest it right and you will face a diverse effect on your body then birds and animals are killed for flesh right we can also consider the because we are non-vegetarian we have to uh, kill the birds and animals right and diseases such as swine flu and bird flu can get transmitted from animals and birds to human beings right and nowadays we know that uh, the new disease like swine flu and bird flu and there are a lot of different different flu, na flu nowadays so that are transferred from the animals and birds to the human beings right so it is a difficult and it is really threatening to the human beings now let's move to the question number 19 what are the advantages and disadvantages of non-vegetarian food right it is the same question right so let's move to the part two so this is the cue card of the part two i am not going to discuss this uh, in this video but just give you the question so that you can try to find out the answer in your way or try to develop the answer in your way in the next video i am going to talk about this particular topic in detail right so let's read the question together talk about your favorite food you should say what the food is what it is made of why you like it and explain why it is your favorite food right so you should cover these four questions and you have to talk about your favorite food right whatever it is right just try to cover these four questions and talk about your favorite food right and you should have to explain also why it is your favorite food right so you have to give the name what is the food what what the food is what it is made of right why you like it suppose you have to uh, choose any recipe that you love then you have to give the name of that recipe then you have to say what are the uh, vegetables fruits or ingredients are included in that and why you like that and explain why it is your favorite food right and you have to explain why it is your favorite right so this is the part two and we are going to discuss on this in the next video you try to make a uh, make a good topic or good description on this on yourself okay let's move to the part three for the food in case of i speaking so we are going to discuss three questions over here and if there are more questions i am going to cover the questions in the next video okay so this is a question number one for the part three in case of i speaking food topic how are the eating habits now in your country different from eating habits in the past so we have to compare the eating habit means now versus past right for your country now whichever country you are from right you have to discuss eating habit of nowadays versus eating habit of past so let's read the answer i think people's eating habits have changed in the past years we all know that years it is changed so i i thought that i should include this sentence 
in the first line nowadays there are already a lot of fast food restaurants we all know that there are a lot of fast food restaurants like mcdonald's pizza pizza hut and dominos and so many right and processed foods have become popular as well and we also eat processed the foods right there are so many processed foods that are available in the supermarkets so i think people these days don't eat as much healthy foods compared in the past right we all know that we are not eating a healthy food nowadays than the past right so that we are not healthier compared to our ancestor our grandfather our father right also i think people in the past are more concerned for eating at the right time nowadays also our life is so busy right so we don't have a time to eat even we we change the eating time always we eat alone so many times we have to work so many hours right so we are under a pressure always and this is how we don't focus well on the food however nowadays people tend to skip meals because of several reasons such as dieting busy schedules and many more right so these are the difference in the past times they eat healthy food at a particular time nowadays we are not eating a healthy food and we don't have a particular time also we don't eat with family we have so many problems nowadays right so these are the comparisons basic comparison i think that i should speak for this question and there is a perfect uh, sent a perfect answer for four to five sentences and covered almost uh, everything in this answer okay let's move to the question number two how healthy is your country's food it is the choice of the people whether to eat healthy or unhealthy food right well yeah, we cannot say that uh, this country's food is not healthy or this country's food is healthy right there is there is nothing like that it is the our own choice right people should have to choose for them right whether to eat healthy or unhealthy food in my country if i talk about my country there are many choices of healthy food especially vegetables and fruits right india uh, the tropical region is really good right we have a lot of vegetables seasonal vegetables seasonal fruits and so many things right we have uh, all the things required in in from the foods to to our body we have all the kind of foods are available in india right especially vegetables and fruits however i don't think that the people eat much healthy foods nowadays because of the presence of fast food and processed food but still we are not eating healthy food right because we are we need a tasty food right we need a fast food we need a burger and pizza and all the kind of stuffs right so we are not eating healthy foods nowadays also many dishes in my country is usually spicy and salty which i think are not very healthy in here in india you can see spicy foods are very popular right so spicy and salty foods sweetened foods are really popular so it is not healthy for our body right yet we are uh, eating the vegetables and all the kind of uh, uh, veggies but we make it too spicy too salty and too sweetened right which will be not healthy for our body so we can say that we are not eating a healthy food right so this is how i answer for this question if you have a better answer for this question then please do mention in the comment section below let's move to the question number three tell me about the type of foods that people eat in your country or what foods are popular in your country right types of foods in your country right so this is a good question in my country the india chapati is a apple food right we eat chapati a lot of time breakfast dinner lunch uh, in case of a snacks also sometime right we we do eat a part chapati so many times in a day right so it is a staple food chapati made from different flour but main ingredient is wheat flour right since my country is located in the tropics tropical fruits are also popular here especially mangoes they say that the best mangoes can be found in the india right we all know that all world says that the best mangoes can be found in the india we also like to eat bread for breakfast or for snacks right so chapati and vegetables and particularly in case of fruits we are popular for the mangoes and also we eat breakfast and so many other things in case of a snacks right so this is a good answer for this question i think 
so i think that's it for today in this video friends and i hope you guys enjoy this video hope at least you learn so many new words regarding the food and all the samples question i try to cover in this video so you found this video really helpful for you and if you found this video helpful then please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the ielts guide channel if you have any suggestions if you have any more ideas if you have a good answers for a particular questions if you have many questions a good questions rather than or oh, i try to cover all but if you still have some question then please do mention everything in the comment section below and share your ideas in the comment section below so that we can talk and learn uh, from each other's idea right so i will see you in the next video till then you take care friends and bye bye